I do. Hey, by the way, where's Linda? Oh, she'll be down soon. I'm sure she will. She just takes big parties. Oh, but not this one. Oh, Johnny, look at Father. He's just seething with excitement. You've won his heart completely. He's been awfully nice to me. Father is such a dear. Do you know he made all the arrangements for the party himself? Stand the fellow. He's rather good looking, at least. Hello, Uncle Edward. Oh, good evening, Seaton. Good evening, Uncle Edward. Oh, there's Lauren Seaton Cram. He's my cousin. Hmm? Hey, listen, darling, tell me, when are you going to announce the exciting news about Julia? Shortly after midnight, as a surprise. Oh, well, Julia seems divinely happy. What does Linda say? You know, we haven't seen Linda all evening. Well, Linda has been somewhat indisposed. If you're asked, you'll explain that she has a severe headache. Oh, yes, of course. Of course, Linda's headaches. No, 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 don't worry, darling. We understand perfectly. She shall come down before the announcement, of course. Of course, of course. No, don't worry, darling. You just leave everything to us, will you? No, it'll be all right, my dear. Now, what's the matter with Linda? Hello, Dorothy. You look lovely. Dear, yeah, where'd she get that horrible dress? Uncle Edward's worried, isn't he? Hello, Bunny. Hello, Seaton. I'd be worried, too, if I had children like Ned and Linda. Now he takes an utter stranger into the family. I don't approve of it at all. Well, if Linda had done it, I could understand, but for Julia to take a common climber who nobody knows. Mother's furious about it. Oh, he's obviously after Julia's money. Hello, Countess. Doesn't even belong to the Harvard Club. Julia! Julia, darling, you look lovely. Hello, lovely. Thank you, dear. Hello, Seaton. I'm cousin Laura, and I'm so happy about it. Oh, my dear, he is attractive, isn't he? This is my husband, Seaton Cram. He's really Julia's cousin. I merely married into the family. Not a bad family to marry into, Case. I congratulate you. Thank you, Mr. Cram. Oh, don't miss me. Johnny, Seaton and I grew up together. We've heard such wonderful things about you. Have you? From whom? Well, uh, from everybody. My dear, it's such a shame about Linda. She does have such frightful luck with those headaches of hers, doesn't she? Yes. Oh, there's Ned. We've been looking for him. Come on, Johnny. We'll see you later, darling. Goodbye, Johnny. See you later, Johnny. Ned, did you speak to Linda? How do you like Cousin Seaton and Laura, Johnny? It's a great privilege to meet them, don't you, lady? What did Linda say? Well, cheer up, Johnny. If you find Seaton and Laura, they'll wait till you meet some of the others. In fact, the more you find out about us Seatons, the more impressive we become. Father wanted a big family, you know, so Mother had Linda straight off to oblige you. But Linda was a girl, so she probably had Julia. Junior was a girl, and it seemed hopeless. Oh, Ned, now, please. The next year, Mother had me, and there was much joy in the land. It was a boy, and the fair name of Seaton would flourish. Must have been a great consolation to Father. Must have been very grateful to Mother. Thank to Mother, Johnny. She tried to be a Seton for a while and then gave up and died. You're talking through your hat, Ned. But I'm not. Ned, uh, what did Linda say? She's coming down, isn't she? Oh, make me laugh, sister. What is all this about Linda, Julia? Oh, it's nothing, Johnny. That's right, it's nothing. Just one of Linda's whims. This silly little girl wanted to give her a kind of party. Between you and Father, you've managed to change her funny little shindig into a first-class funeral. Well, she should have realized that Father couldn't announce my engagement without some sort of fuss. Should have, yes, but unlike me, Linda always hopes. Bottoms up to Linda. Oh, Ned, now, please. You've been drinking steadily since 8 o'clock. Yes, funny old Ned. The New Year's Eve, Bill. But Johnny, try to stop him. Darling, sister, I shall drink as much as I like at any party I agree to attend. And as much as I like is as much as I can hold. It's my protection against your tiresome friends. Linda's out of luck. She hasn't any protection. Robert, another highball, please. Ned, take it easy. Aye, aye, sir. The name is Potter, Professor Nichols Potter. And wife, Susan. We were invited. The lady's cloakroom is the second door to the left, madam. Oh, 
Croft. Yeah? Well, it's getting near a new year, Edgar. That's right, sir. Next, about an hour, I should say. An hour and 38 minutes, Edgar. Thank you, sir. The elevator is to the rear and right. Uh, thank you, but uh, would it be asking oh, too Mr. much? Jennings, yeah? coming close to the new year now. Mm, an hour and 27 minutes, Edgar. Yeah. Oh, he's fast. Yes, sir. The elevator is to the rear and right. Thank you, but you have my shoe. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, it's quite all right, really. Oh, very natural mistake, as a matter of fact. Thank you, I'll, I'll do it. Don't tell anyone, but I've got a run in my stocking. Good heavens, we're ruined. Not a word of this to a soul. No, sir. The elevator is to the rear and to the right. Perhaps we'd better use the elevator. To the rear and to the right. I think we'd better go home. Now, courage, dear, courage, courage. Remember, we promised Johnny that we'd come. You know, this reminds me a little of the palace of the Emperor Caligula. You remember Caligula, don't you, dear? Oh, very well indeed. Whatever became of him? To the rear. To the right. Oh, wow. <laughs> 